transition. Hey, how's it going? Back again. I know you're probably sick of hearing it. We're at the Chino Hill Skate Park. My backyard, my home turf. I love it. I'll probably always come here. But like I said before in other videos, if you want to see us at any other location, any, pretty much not any other location, like we do have a budget. So any Southern California skate park, we can do it there too. So, or any spot that you know about or any suggestions like to where you want these videos to be filmed. We find it here, it's convenient because me and Enzo come early in the morning um, and no one's here so we can kind of just free for all do whatever we want real fun but today's video is gonna be um, actually one of you guys commented about a trick I was doing and it was almost like a setup trick that I didn't even realize I was doing in the video and somebody was more curious about that than some of the tricks we were doing and the trick is a 50-50 grind on coping so it's where I'm gonna be coming off of the transition wall um, gaining a little speed going up to the next wall and uh, getting both trucks the front and back to grind on the coping and usually I do this to kind of gain a little speed out of a corner um, like I was saying to set up for another trick so in this video we're gonna go into depth of how I like to 50-50 grind on the coping and how I like to carve into it and we'll go about the angles foot placement and um, just everything involved in it and yeah this is this is the kind of videos we like to make because me not even knowing I was just doing that trick like I usually do and it's for me it's to, a, a way to gain speed so I'm glad you guys pointed that out and now we can make a video on it so let's get into it all right so with the 50 50 grind uh, on the coping here are some like third person perspectives of me uh, performing the trick so as you can see I'm carving off one wall to gain the momentum and speed to get on top of the coping and as you notice I'm coming from an angle if you go straight up and try this trick you're not going to have the momentum to take your body and grind on the trucks across the coping if you do it going straight up then you're just going to be doing a stall and the stalls are good say if like you're skating like a mini ramp and you're setting up for a harder trick maybe you do a 50 50 stall or um, any other trick like that so it's kind of less thought about it's almost like the rock to fakie that we went over with but um, when you grind you want to cut it at that angle um, and there's no right answer for what angle it is I'm not going to get into degrees it's just how you're feeling and how far you want to grind uh, the sharper the angle you're going to cut it after you're coming out of a transition or coming up to it with speed the longer you're going to grind and another thing to take into fact um, you're not going to grind the same on every obstacle um, on coping. Sometimes there's pool coping, which is coping just made out of cement that sticks out a little farther. And there's a skate park coping that you see here. Um, sometimes you kind of want to go up to it on something you're going to grind when you get to the park and just place your board on there and see how well your trucks are grinding on it. Right now, it's pretty hot out and um, People like to wax the coping so that will make it a little bit more slick, but it's so dry out right now there's not any wax and I don't have any on me, neither does Enzo, so I'm not grinding as far as I usually would, um, but that's okay. It's still giving me the feel and it's, it's 
portraying the motion, how to do it. If we had wax, I could probably grind a lot farther and faster. But you're not going to be worried about that learning the trick at first. You just want to get the basics and you want to see how, you, you want to feel the, feel how comfortable you, you need to be on this trick and kind of placement of your body, um, the momentum, gain the speed, balance, a lot of things go into even these simple tricks. It's about 10 different things that have to go right for one thing to go, to go right. And if one of those doesn't, that one thing's not gonna go right. All right, so in the next clip, I'm gonna give you a perspective of me looking over my board so you can see my foot placement and see in a sense, what I see when I'm setting up for the 50-50 grind on the Kopi. All right, in this clip, I'm gonna show you what I see as like a first person. Like, have you ever played a first person video game? You see the gun or whatever your character's holding. Same kind of deal we wanna try to bring. So this is the first person skating. So, um, as you can see, I roll in from this deck to gain the speed and my ultimate goal is to get to that wall and I want to get to that wall by conserving and gaining as much speed as I can so I'm gonna be coming off one wall right here and then I'm gonna cut that angle like I said and that's gonna propel me to the top of the coping I'm gonna make sure I lock both of my trucks on my heel I always call it a heel side for uh, backside grind so you're the wheel that is going to be closest to your heels, depending on if you're standing regular or goofy footed, that's what you want to lock into. So I'm going to be locking in on my heels. So I'm on top of the coping right now and I'm grinding. And like I said, this coping right now is kind of sticky. It's real dry. So I'm not going as far as I wanted, but I'm still getting that grind. And then I'm the next thing after I'm grinding, I want to focus on getting back into the transition. So getting back into the transition is about the same as when you stall, I do a 50-50 stall. You're going to enter in with your front truck and your back truck's going to follow. Um, it may look intimidating, but it's just more of a repetition thing. The more you do it, the more you're going to get comfortable, the more it's going to feel like second nature. Um, the thing with coming in from the 50-50 grind is there's one more um, variable that's we're being propelled forward. Our momentum's taking us on top. So when you go back into that transition, you might want to adjust your um, adjust your like weight distribution to have a better balance because you're going to be coming into that transition at a different angle with more speed rather than just going up and doing a stall and coming back down. So you're going to be going, coming in at a different angle and you're going to have more momentum and velocity as you drop back in. So you want to make those adjustments um, so that you don't slip back, slip forward. You want to be right over, right over the bolts of your board. So if you can see my foot placement in these clips, I like to do it with my back foot in like the tail on a comfortable position, almost like an ollie position, but set a little bit forward. And my front, my front foot is going to be underneath the front four bolts or on top of them. That's going to give me the control that I need to uh, comfortably stand up on the 50-50 grind as well as go back in without shifting my weight forward or back that's going to result into me falling. And don't get me wrong, you're going to fall learning this. I always say this in the videos, you're always going to fall. This is skateboarding, but it's like it's like life. It's you not everything is going to be easy. It's the more times you get up than stay down is what's important. So, uh, just also take take the right precautions if you're very nervous about this trick. Maybe wear some pads and definitely wear a helmet while you're learning it. So, all right, um, that's all pretty much we have for um, the demonstration on this. Um, thanks for watching again. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to be subscribed uh, to our YouTube channel so you stay up to date with videos like this. Go ahead and give a thumbs up on the video if you found this helpful. And yeah, comment comment anything, to be honest. We just want the interaction with you guys. Um, we want you to feel that you're a part of the Yoka Her community. And yeah, um, like I said before, anything you wonder related to skateboarding. It doesn't have to be a trick, it could be a question. And I'll do my best to answer it the best I can. And uh, hopefully uh, we can keep this interaction going. And we do have some giveaways planned for the future. So you wanna be subscribed. 
hit that bell so you're notified when we upload a new video so you always have the best chance to win the head giveaway or you know just in case you want to see more about what we're doing and yeah i just appreciate all you guys and keep skating have fun and i'll see you on the next one hey guys thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe we have new videos coming out every week and if you have any requests for any other future videos you know where to find us Thank you.